Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. And Zaya. And today's mission is to completely reorganize Zaya's closet. I mentioned this in a previous video, how her closet needs a whole overhaul. She has been going through a lot of growth spurts recently. As you guys have probably noticed, she's getting super tall, which means she is outgrowing her clothes at rapid speed. So I know there's a bunch of stuff in there that does not fit her anymore. And on that note, she needed a bunch of new clothes. So we ordered a bunch of new clothes from Kohl's. From Kohl's. It's a bunch of stuff in here for Zaya and a few things for me too because you know I had to get some stuff too. We just needed to refresh our wardrobe for the spring summer season but also like I said Zaya needed to go up a size so we got a bunch of stuff in here for both of us. I'm thinking let's try this on first so we can show y'all what we got and then we'll organize the closet. That way we can put Zaya's nice new clothes into her freshly organized closet. You guys do not sleep on Kohl's. They have great stable items for the whole family and especially if you have kids Kohl's is the go-to place to refresh their summer wardrobe. They've got stuff for special occasions, for every day. And like I said, Zaya has been growing out of her clothes so fast, so I love that I can go to Kohl's and stock up on stables without breaking the bank. Kohl's carries a lot of brands, so they have everything I need, and you can really find a lot of hidden gems too. With it being wedding season and all the graduations, picnics, family gatherings, I love that I can find super cute dresses for myself and Zaya. They've got all the seasonal trends and essentials, so definitely keep Kohl's in mind if you need to refresh you or your family's summer wardrobe. So now we have all these super cute summer clothes from Kohl's. And of course we are going to put them away, but first before we can put them away, we need to organize Zaya's closet. Let's set all your nice new clothes aside and then we can leave space on the bed to deal with the current clothes. So we're gonna set these over here. So now Zaya, what do you think the first step of organizing the closet is gonna Going be? Away, <laughs> Don't want to go wear those? That's the number one thing we need to do? Yeah. Okay, well, so you want to start with the shoes. So the thing with the shoes, right now you wear size one. We're going to keep all the ones and everything else most likely does not fit if it's not a one. So we got to check each shoe. So it's keep going to be it. either keep it. Donate it or throw it away. If it's really bad, we throw it away. If it's still good, okay. but it just doesn't fit you, then we'll donate it. So let's go one by one and decide. So check the size. So let's start with these. So these are size 12. You're in a one. So maybe a 13 could still work because that's the next lowest size, but a 12 is definitely not going to work. So these don't fit you. So what should we do with them? Which pile? Do you think we should keep them, throw them away, or donate it? Yeah. Right, so let's make a pile all out here because we don't have any space in the closet. So this is trash because those are messed up. Donate can be on the other side of the rug. So now that you know how it goes, we can hopefully quickly go through all the shoes. As you can see, Zaya literally just went through a growth spurt. Pretty much almost all of her shoes, more than half of her shoes, do not fit anymore. She basically jumped up from a 12 to a one, basically skipped right past 13. She wore 13 for like two days. And so that's where all these came from. But yeah, unfortunately, most of her shoes don't fit. Now we have to put all these shoes in the pile of nine gonna shoes. So in this pile, we only have three that we're going to throw away because they're all broken and these shoelaces are all broken. And so all of these shoes, we're going to donate. So now we can add your brand new shoes from Kohl's onto your shelf now that we have space. So where do you think we should put them? These ones right here and then these black ones. These are all the just like brown and black ones. These are all like the bubbly colorful ones and these ones are just fancy ones. Good, what do you think about that? That looks better, right? So done with the shoe section, now moving on to her clothes that are actually hanging in here. She has four hanging sections. So originally when I set up her closet, my thought process was to have each section represent like a different section of clothes, like have jackets in one section, skirts in another, dresses in another. Right now it's definitely jumbled up. We have dresses and shirts and jackets like all mixed together. Plus just like with the shoes, I'm sure there's tons of clothes in here that do not fit her anymore. So first things first, we sort of just need to like 
take everything out and look through it and get rid of what doesn't fit. So I don't know if we should go section by section or just do the whole thing because everything's mixed up anyway. I kind of know off the top of my head mostly what fits and what doesn't. I know all of these things fit. This one does not fit. I know that for sure. This one does, this is size four or five, so no. Your size right now is size seven, seven slash eight. So anything that says four, five, six, you need to get rid of. So I'm going to quickly go through and see what stuff fits and what doesn't, because like I said, I kind of have an eye for it. I can do that faster. But what you can do is I'm gonna hand you the stuff that still fits and you're gonna decide what category it goes in. So we have sweaters, shirts, and jackets. And then we'll figure out what other categories we need. But you decide which pile it goes in, okay? So we're gonna go pretty fast. Faster, 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 faster. Oh, we got a new category. What category is that? Pants. Okay, so far so good with stuff that still fits. It still fits, it still fits. No. But that still fits. This is size, okay, it's size six. Christmas shirt size six. You wanna keep it? Yes. It's not gonna fit by Christmas, I promise. This still fits, I'm pretty sure. This is five. These are newer. This doesn't. This is a big six, so I think it's fine. So we just went through the two lower racks. Now we have the two upper racks to do the same thing with. So I'm just gonna grab some more. This is new. This still fits. This is new. All of these still fit. Good shirts. Size five, no. Size four, no. Size five, but kind of a big five. I think that still fits. Six, seven, these are good. Which ones do you not like. Do you like this? Yes, because it has one of my baby dolls have a little mouth. And it's too fat. <laughs> okay, matching to the baby doll. Yes, this, yes. Yes. This is too small, that's a four. This is my shirt. That <laughs> looks like it could be a dress on you. You probably could wear it as a dress. Okay, these last two piles, which are the last of everything that's coming out of the closet. I see some dress up stuff mixed in there. So can you separate out all the dress up stuff and make a dress up pile? And then we also have some keepsake items in here. So this is a little dress from when you were a baby. This is from your first Christmas. So I'm gonna find a better place to put this type of stuff, I think. That one is also from when you were a newborn baby. Now that's technically a real skirt, but you decide. Would you wear that normal or just dress up? So normal style, I think this is all uh, normal, normal, normal. So all these skirts are regular skirts, which should all still fit you. So I'm gonna like a skirt pile up here. This is from your second birthday. That's more of a keepsake if we can clean it. All this crochet stuff, this is from years ago. It doesn't fit anymore, but it was handmade by a subscriber. This is size 18 to 24 months. <laughs> Don't know why it's still in her closet. Your snow suit, which is size four. And then this is your newest dress up edition. And that was everything out of the closet. So we gotta put it back in the closet. So as far as putting everything back in her closet, I want to organize it by type. And then I'm also gonna try and color code it when I hang it up. So I have all her hoodies together and all her sweaters together. So hoodies and sweaters and crew necks. It's easier for me to color code once I already have it hanging, but let me get the rest. Jackets, crew necks, sweaters. I think how I have my closet downstairs is like black, gray, white, neutral. So your next job is the way we want to hang it up. The hanger needs to be hooking this way. So when you're looking at the front of the shirt, the hanger goes this way. Some of these are flipped to the wrong side, but you can just twist it around. So now we're going to separate all your tops into long sleeve and short sleeve. So I'll hand it to you and you put it in the right pile, okay? Quick, 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 fast, fast, fast. So I took some time to pre-color code the short sleeve shirts and she only has a couple of long sleeve hanging. She has a whole bunch of stuff in her dresser, which is a story for another day, but this is what she has hanging up. So we're just gonna focus on this and I think we're gonna keep this section as the shirt section. I might change my mind. I think we're gonna do that. The color coding isn't amazing, but I did my best. Now we have the bottoms, which are skirts and shorts and pants. So here's your skirts and shorts. I put it in color order kind of already. Here's the pants. So we're gonna put it down here with the black one at the very end. Okay. 
So the last section is dresses. These are swimsuit cover-up dresses. I guess we'll just keep them in the same one. So dresses and her swimsuit cover-up dress thingies. Ta-da! So now we can hang up her nice new clothes from Kohl's and add it to her closet. Here, show me. This is a good practice skill. See, that's how you know it's good. So now let me see if you know where these go in your closet. You gotta think about what it is and what color it is. Those two things you have to think about. Okay, this one you can do. Okay, where does that one go? Right next to the same one we already have. Now these ones are higher up, so you tell me and I'll put it. So this blue shirt, where does it go? In between yeah. what and what? In between like the red starting colors and the end colors right here. Perfect. And then this blue dress, where should I put it? Perfect. Then we have three printed dresses that are mostly pink. So where should they go? Ta-da! So now lastly, we're just getting all of our donations together. We have a lot of good shoes to donate that I'm sure somebody will love to have. So we're gonna do one bag of shoes. Okay, so there's all the shoes. And then for the clothes, we gotta take everything off the hangers because we're keeping your hangers. So do you wanna be the hanger taker offer or the clothing putter in her? Hanger taker offer. So you'll put your stack of hangers there and I'll put it in the back. I swear I just went through her closet like last month and had just as many clothes to get rid of. It's like so often now that we're having to do this. Okay, so we are done reorganizing Zaya's closet and we've got all of our donations ready to go. Her closet looks so much better now. We can actually clearly see what she has in each section and her shoes and everything. It does look a little empty now. I was shocked by how many things don't fit her anymore. So I'm feeling like we need to go back to Kohl's to get even more stuff. Definitely to just continue continue stocking up for the summer and then we will definitely be back before the school year for sure. The other reason why it might look like there's not that much stuff in here is because she does have a full dresser full of clothes as well, but that is a project for another day.